everyone welcome and uh, thanks for watching this is the uh, first episode in my vlog series wildlife photography in Devon and um, for my first episode I wanted to bring you what I consider to be one of the quintessential countryside birds um, in the UK and that's the barn owl um, I've never filmed barn owls before um, and uh, it's been through a lot of kindness and of uh, sort of local farmers and landowners um, that uh, I've been able to get out um, and film this week. So um, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, I can bring you some fantastic footage. And um, there's never any guarantees with these things, um, but uh, I've been told that there are some barn owls nesting um, around where I am. So it's a case of um, finding them, and um, hopefully we'll uh, hopefully we'll get some good footage. So we're going to get stuck in. Um, we'll see what the week brings. Um, come along with me on the journey. Um, subscribe to the channel, and um, hopefully I'll bring you some stuff that's worth watching. All right, take care. Cheers. Hi everybody. Welcome. Thank you for coming. In this episode, I'm hoping to find and bring you some footage of wonderful barn owls. So I'm hoping we'll get to, uh, to see both the adult and the chick. Um, the chick is actually pretty close to, to fledging. Um, they reckon it's probably got another week uh, or so until it actually fledges. So we've got a fairly small window of opportunity um, but yeah I think uh, first off what we need to do is just find them um, and see if we can learn their routine so yeah be quite uh, quite exciting um, hopefully we'll be able to bring you some great footage and learn a bit about uh, these barn owls okay so the first thing I want to do is locate the barn owls um, we're going to uh, go down here um, and have a look at the uh, the barn in a minute um, the barns actually on the other side of um, this hedge here um, in uh, in the adjacent field um, I haven't got my hide with me um, I've got uh, I've got my 3d uh, suit um, and I think I'll probably just try and make myself as inconspicuous as I can but yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't even know whether they're here or not. So um, that's going to be my first objective. Um, just to, you know, as I say, to see if we can locate them before we start uh, sort of bedding down proper. So what we know is that the, the main barn is um, located um, over this hedge. Um, and that's where the adult uh, is. And um, the chick is in a separate barn um, about probably about 100 yards 200 yards away now they're both on private land um, so I'm not going to be giving away any uh, location information just out of respect for the um, privacy of the landowners okay guys so you see that barn there in front that is where there are two barn owls living and so what we're going to do is we're going to sit i think along this tree line here so that we're out of sight and we're going to see if they fly past. Now, if they do fly past, we'll definitely see them. Because um, their route to go down to where they hunt is to come out of the barn and presumably they'll come out of the barn. They might fly over the field that way. But essentially what they're doing 
So they're flying down that valley and down to the fields in the distance that you can see, which is their hunting ground. So if I sit in those trees, whilst I don't, I won't see them come out of the barn, I'll see them fly past. Alternatively, I could go and sit in those trees up there so that I can then see when they actually come out of the barn. Okay guys, so what I'm actually doing, I'm gonna set myself up um, in amongst the uh, wildflowers here. Got plenty of cover. Um, and look at that for a view of the barn. Okay, so um, it's half past seven. Um, the sun is very much still up and out. Um, it's glorious evening. And uh, no action yet. But it... Um, I think it's still early. But other than the cows coughing behind me and uh, the birds tweeting, there isn't very much action from anything. But um, yeah, what a what a beautiful, beautiful place, and what a beautiful evening. It's just amazing to be out here. Oh. My. God. So I can see the owl hunting in the field behind me. It's swooping very, very low over the grass. I mean, I can only see a, um, a fraction of the field. Amazing, absolutely amazing. They're so quiet, so silent. I mean, it was six feet above my head and I didn't hear anything. Which way are they going to come back? That's the question. Okay, we're going to keep the video camera trained on the uh, on the barn to see which way they fly in. Because I didn't see which side or which end of the barn they flew out of. Okay guys, so we've um, moved location um, into uh, the neighbouring farmer but one's field from where we were. This is the, this is the field where the owl has been doing its hunting. Um, you can see that uh, sort of valley down there. That's where the owl flew up earlier on. So that's the, the barn is just on the other side um, of uh, that little ridge there. 
and um, hopefully they'll be coming back. But what an amazing um, vantage point again. Just to give you an idea. So the owl's got all of this area here to hunt in. And it's also got loads of fields the other side where apparently it's been hunting as well. Now obviously I do want to film the, the barn where the owls are and nesting so that I can actually see their behavior and try and get a sense of their routine and I can't see the main barn from here but this is without question the best vantage point to watch them hunting and from here I can see right across directly to the barn where the chick is nesting. So I'm going to have to work out how I'm going to balance my time between the two. It's coming up for five to nine. Um, the sun is starting to go down. So um, they may not come back out again this evening, which would be a shame as I've only seen them come out once. I think to tomorrow morning. Um, I'm going to come back here and come back to exactly this spot and watch the uh, keep an eye on the um, on the chick's nest and the hunting field. Okay guys, so this is the scene at the moment. Um, the sun is going to be coming up over the farm buildings over there. So we're likely to get the sun straight into us, which might not be ideal. we'll wait and see but yeah pretty spectacular again if the barn owl does come out this morning this is the channel where they'll fly up into uh, into the field in front where they hunt so we'll have a fantastic view and the mist is beginning to clear okay guys so we've hit eight o'clock and uh, yeah there's absolutely nothing going on so um, I don't think there's anything going to happen this morning. Um, in time-honoured fashion, I'm going to give it five more minutes um, just to see <laughs> see if anything does happen. Um, but yeah, then I think we're going to pack up, go back, um, have some breakfast. Um, got to go to work. Well, working from home, but uh, got to do uh, got to do a day's work. Um, and uh, we'll come back, uh, come back this evening. So it's quarter to nine. Um, still nothing 
Um, it's just it's a strange feeling, really, because as you know, I I don't know this owl's routine yet. Um, and whilst it is incredibly frustrating sitting here um, waiting for something to happen, especially having seen uh, seen the owl on the first uh, first evening. I'm kind of strangely comforted by the fact that I just don't think they're out. Um, you know, I've got line of sight on the um, on the field. I mean, I can see the the whole of the field. Um, I can actually see the nest. I've got really clear line of sight um, to the nest where the chick is. And there's no action going on there. So I just think they're not out. Now the question is, of course, are they not out because they've already been out? Um, or are they not out because they've stocked up with food and they don't need to hunt? Um, I don't know. Got lots of questions. One thing about um, filming in a hide like this, especially when it gets to um, this time of evening, is that um, it looks and feels quite a bit darker in here than it actually is outside. So I keep thinking that, um, you know, the light is, uh, is well and truly gone and that uh, I need to pack up. And then um, I actually stick my head out the gap um, and it's a lot lighter out there. I mean, it's sort of barely dusk, really. So, um, yeah, not time to go home just yet. Okay, guys, so great news. The uh, barn owl is out and hunting. It's just flown over the top of my head and over the hedge there into uh, the field on the other side. So that's interesting to know it hunts over there. All right guys, so uh, this evening we are again uh, in a slightly different location. But if it all goes well, um, what we'll see is the, uh, the adult flying in from this area so the, the the barn where the adults are is over over there so this is kind of where i was on that first night um, just down there actually and so the adults will fly in um, from this way this is what i'm beginning to have sort of some thoughts about what their routine is because um, what he did yesterday was he flew up um, saw that the chick was there and then flew off down in that direction um, over those trees and into that far field um, where I lost sight of it. Okay, great news guys, the um, chick has just come out um, of the nest um, and uh, no sign of the adult yet. But um, chick is definitely out, so pretty certain we'll uh, we'll get the adult coming out fairly soon. I've just been round to the front um, of the nest, just to um, sort of peer through the bushes, and uh, the chick is out. So I'm going to go and. Um, myself in the hide. So 
this is the um, the view I have from the hide. Pretty incredible. So I've got the uh, the seventy to two hundred lens on the Z six again. Um, even though it's pretty gloomy um, out front. We're still only at um, ISO 320. Um, I've got it on auto ISO. So, uh, yeah, if it does come out, we should uh, get some pretty clear images. <laughs>
Thank、you